to perform the drop arm sign, have your patient in standing or sitting position and bring the affected arm into 90 degrees of abduction and external rotation passively. Then tell your patient to hold this position and release your supporting hand. This test is positive for full thickness tears of the supra and infraspinatus if your patient is unable to slowly control the downward movement. Thus the name drop arm sign. Examination of the rotator cuff. Job's test. Abduct the patient's outstretched arm and flex it horizontally. Internal rotation of the arm minimizes the effect of the deltoid muscle on abduction, which allows isolated examination of the supraspinatus muscle. First, check if the patient can keep the arm raised. If this is the case, ask the patient to raise the arm against resistance. Job's test is positive if resisting is not possible or is painful. Examination of the rotator cuff. Lift-off test. First, place the patient's hand behind the middle of the back with the palm facing outwards, thereby internally rotating the arm. Ask the patient to lift the hand off the back, which increases internal rotation and puts tension on the subscapularis muscle. If the patient can perform this motion effortlessly, the test should be repeated, but against resistance applied by the examiner. The liftoff test is positive if the patient is unable to perform the motion or if it elicits pain. A positive liftoff test indicates insufficiency or a lesion of the subscapularis muscle or its tendon. 